Hello guys, good afternoon, or good morning, whichever time you are watching this video. I want to quickly show you how to upload data from Excel to MS SQL table. So the first step is to have your destination database and the table you want to upload your Excel data to. As you can see, currently we have an empty table and we want to upload data from Excel to this table. The next thing you need to do is to prepare your sample data which I already have here and I have a header. The header must conform to the columns of the database and majorly the compulsory column. What do I mean? The columns that cannot be null. If we check, we have a uh, unit name which cannot be known we have unit description which cannot be known we have is active which is a tiny int which can also not be known and uh, we have created date and created by all other fields that are knowledgeable you don't need to worry yourself about it except you want to input data into it so i have this department sample data in which i want to upload the next thing is to right click on the test database and uh, from task you will see import data. So you will wait, an interface comes up which is the SQL Server Import and Export Wizard. On this uh, uh, import, import and Export Wizard, you can select the source in which your data is coming from. I have Microsoft Excel. And you pick up the file from where it's being stored. I have my department sample data. Once you put it, it will be, you have the version. Currently, I'm using is it 2007 to 2010. And I've indicated here that my first row has the column names as shown earlier. So you click next. You now pick the destination table. Where you are importing data to. So we have Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL Server, and this is our server name. And the mode of authentication is ordinary Windows. This is the database whereby we are importing data to. We click next. So you don't need to worry yourself about this area. Just leave it as copy data from one or more tables or views. So the next here you have the tables and views. You have the you have the source and you have the destination. You will notice that we don't have any table named sheet one dollar on our database. So you click and select the table you want to input the data into, and you can as well preview. You can preview the data you want to input the database before you uh, go to the next action so and you can as well edit the mappings but we are not editing any mapping here i just appending rows to destination table like that so once you click next you have this is underscore active is a tiny int so from the source is recognized as double why destination is known as tiny int? You don't need to worry yourself about that. The last step is to click next and run the package. Even though it shows validation, you don't need to worry yourself about that, except in some extreme cases, it's just one is. The data has been saved into the database, so we have 12 rows that are transferred. You click close. If you run your query again, you see that we now have our data in the database. The beautiful thing is you can use this data over and over again without you typing it with your hand. Thank you.